Thank you for visiting Annie Electronics. We have discussed rectifiers in our last episode. Further, we have established the superiority of the full wave bridge rectifier over any other rectifier. As the rectifier's output is pulsating DC or AC voltage mixed with DC, it cannot be used as an input signal to any device which requires DC voltage. Clearly, we require a filter that separates the AC part from the DC part at the output stage. First, let's take a look at the key factors used in creating a basic filter circuit, before going on to discuss the circuit and its components. Our rectifier circuit has sinusoidal input voltage as its source. There are two obvious ways to change the form of a sinusoidal wave, horizontally and vertically. The change in vertical direction is known as the change in amplitude, or in physics, the maximum displacement of an object measured from its equilibrium point. Changing the horizontal direction is called changing the frequency. It is the rate at which something occurs or is repeated over a period of time. The frequency of the wave can be altered by changing its rate of occurrence. Understand this section and keep it in mind for the future. We can now state that AC signal has a frequency value, while DC signal has no frequency value. We're almost there with frequency involvement in solving the problem. Aside from resistance, when dealing with AC we must also take into account reactance, because the alternating current within each component is influenced by inductive and capacitive reactances. The inductor reactance XL equal to 2 pi FL. And the capacitive reactance is XC qual to 1 slash 2 pi FC. Where F is the frequency L and C are the values of the inductor and the capacitor respectively. The frequency value of DC component is zero, and based on the capacitive reactance formula we can conclude DC cannot pass through a capacitor since the capacitive reactance becomes too high under realistic conditions. Hence we get a component that passes the AC component, but resists the DC movement. If we fix a capacitor parallel to the output of a rectifier, the AC component will be fed through the capacitor and we get a filtered DC version. Let us now understand the working principle of the capacitor filter. We now need to understand how the capacitor filter works. We will be discussing full wave filtering. Consider VP as the maximum or peak value of the rectifier output voltage. At first, the capacitor is not charged. As the input voltage rises, the capacitor will charge gradually and will stop when it reaches VP. Hence, at the very first stage of charging, we will not observe any current flow at the output. While the rectified pulsating voltage drops below the capacitor voltage, the capacitor start discharging and supplies a current to the output. In comparison to the charging of the same capacitor, the discharging will be slower. As a result, the next half cycle pulse from the rectified output appears at the capacitor's input, which initiates charging of the capacitor again. The capacitor will charge and start discharging within a very short period of time, while the rectified pulsating voltage starts decreasing and is less than the capacitor voltage. This process will be repeated for each rectified pulsating input voltage. As we can see, the filtered output is more stable than the rectified output. Although it still has an unwanted AC component and is called the ripple. The estimated peak-to-peak -peak ripple out of any capacitor filter is V re equal to I divided by Fc. This type of filter is called a capacitor input filter. We can also use an inductor to block the AC component. Recall the inductor reactance equation XL equal to 2 pi FL. According to the equation, AC voltage has some finite number of frequencies, and for this reason, the inductor reactance will oppose the AC motion. DC has no such reactance. Therefore, if we connect an inductor in series with the capacitor, we can increase the output performance. This type of filter is called LC filter. So far, we have covered the basic circuit of a filter. Currently, engineers are coming up with intelligent circuits that produce almost no ripple output. Don't forget to follow us on other social media platforms as well. You'll receive notifications when new videos are released. Please give us a thumbs up if you like the video and feel free to make suggestions below. 
Your feedback will inspire us. Be sure to subscribe to Ani Electronics to receive notifications of new videos. Thank you.